Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the amazing features in Devious Machine's Pitch Monster for transposing, harmonizing, and processing vocals, including formant correction, chord triggering, unison voicing, and lots more. So let's check it out. You may be asking why you need a device for repitching audio when all doors have the facility built in. So let's address that question first off, starting with this soul groove here. Let's say I want to add a vocal to it. At the moment, it's at the wrong pitch, so I need to shift it up or down. But if I do this with the door control, it ends up sounding in key but squeaky or turns my vocalist into a giant. So this is where Pitch Monster comes in. If I take the vocal and transpose it up with that now, with the default granular pitch engine, I get a similar result, but if I switch it to formant mode, then you can hear that the vocalist resizing effect goes away. And it's the same if I take it down rather than up. You can also control the size manually with the formant dial. But in the default central position, the formant shape is the same as the untransposed vocal. So no need to do this unless you want to apply resizing for effect say. So already there are some great benefits, even with very basic settings like this. But there's tons more the plugin can do, including multiple voicing and harmonizing effects. You might be familiar with unison voicing on a synth, which is a great way of making patches much richer sounding. Here on Pitch Monster, you can apply this with the unison dial, which ramps up the amount of extra voices, and then time spread, which adjusts the timing of the voices a bit like a delay. Or pitch spread, which applies detuning to the voices. When the dial goes over halfway, the gaps between voices are a number of semitones, going all the way up to an octave in range, so you can achieve a chord-like result in the max setting. And the central display shows you exactly where on the pitch dial the voices lie. So that's a really handy visual reference. Creating your own harmonized phrases can be done really easily too though. If I switch to chord mode at the bottom, then I'll turn on the root note, which is C4. So then we just hear the voice pitch shifted by whatever we set above. Then I can turn on other keys on the keyboard to add harmonies at those intervals, like one maybe a fifth above, and an octave below, and so on. And these are additional to the unison voices, so I can turn them on as well to multiply each one of those harmonized voices by up to eight further ones, allowing 64 voices in total. And the wide switch is a great one for making really big sounds. Finally, the vocoder mode provides all the features you need to make classic robotic type effects. It's a similar one to formant mode, but it flattens melodies to just one note, so it's a bit easier to work with if you want to make your own chords or melodies. For instance, I'll set the main dial back to zero, then I can turn on different keys in chords mode. So I'll make an E minor chord with a flattened seventh. But I'll copy the chord to slot 2 here by right clicking and then change it to a regular 7th then switch between those slots to change up my chord. Or to play my own melodies I can have it in MIDI mode and then use a MIDI track routed to the plugin to play in different phrases. Do it by, do it by, get it by, do it by. 
Anna can use the formant control at the same time to resize the vocalist once again, which is pretty cool in this mode. So yeah, tons of great options there for playing with vocals. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.